Hello guys, uh, you probably think I'm standing in an empty world, probably flying, right? You'd be wrong. This is the world on Minecraft Xbox 360 edition with the Northwestern. Uh, these are tie-down ropes, and we have mooring cleats. The mooring cleats look like this. And then, in total we have six tie-downs. Yeah, one, two, three... Or, yeah, six tie downs plus another mooring cleat down at the end. But let's go ahead and jump on the Northwestern. Oh, and if you didn't notice, there's water underneath the boat now. This is all nether rack and cobweb, but it's supposed to represent the netting that the guys throw the crab into and she gets into Dutch or however you want to look at it. but. Yeah, that's what that is. That's the crab being offloaded, and then there's a big crane coming over the boat, and the boat is loading pots as well as offloading crab. And then, if we look right over here, we got the bait area. Now, a lot of things have changed inside as well, so let's go in here. In here, we have the head. Right there and then there's where you wash your hands and then this is where Matt Shower got screwed with and then Kasig went downstairs to the power room and started screwing with Matt Shower I could take you guys over there if you want but underneath this part of the deck is frozen bait below so if we go down here you got bait there which is cod and then you got your herring over here so yeah, that's what that is, and then staterooms, like you guys saw in the last episode, again, stage room, nothing's changed in there, nothing's changed in the galley either, it's the engine room, and upstairs that have changed. So if we go into the engine room, and we go in here, this is storage, and then we got more storage over here. But down here is the engine room, right? But you go out, go back here, say screw with Matt Shower by clicking this button right here and shut the power off. And then we got Crab Tank's power right there. This is the main breaker. And then, as you see, I put a sign there saying electricity panel. And then we got the engines. We got crab tanks one and two. And then we got the engine right there. Push button start. And then we got fresh water pumps which turn the water off. And then we got the main breaker here which in theory would turn off all the electricity on the boat, but it does these buttons do nothing. But that's what they would do. And then, if we go back up here, now I'm going to just jump here. You look out there and you'll see all the water. Now we're going to go back upstairs, and then back up here, we're going to go back out on deck. That's where all the light is on the mast, and then we got the crow's nest up here. Not that anybody's ever up there, but this is where all the lights are. Over here we have our coiler. Right there we have the crane that pulls the pots up on the launcher. And then we got the... Uh, block right here. This is the sorting table, this is the bait, and then we got the crane, main crane here. And then we got the pots up on deck. This is where they offload a lot of their crab. And 
Now, we, as you see, we got a big crane here. And her prop is underwater. You guys can see it here. See, there's the top of the prop, and there's one block of water above it. So, here's her rudder, and then this is basically just the stern of the ship. And up here, we got the sign for Northwestern because it wouldn't all fit right here. That's where it really is, but it wouldn't fit. And they do tie her down to the dock right here. And then there's another block down right here. And there's another one mid starboard side. And then another one on the other side of the table on the starboard side. Just uh before the pots and then one on our stern so and this applies to both sides but there's no cleats over there to tie her down to so they don't have her tied up over there and this is the sandbar that basically keeps the water up over the ship or boat rather and then if we go down here you can see that it's all full of water and there's cobblestone down here because that's the easiest thing to fit in there and she doesn't even scrape the bottom at all so that's good but she did pass her sea trials the other day because we just finished her up the other day she did pass her sea trial. She's not leaking on the inside at all. Because if we go downstairs, I can show you guys. She's not leaking. Because right here is the bow. She's not leaking. She's not leaking up and in from underneath either. Now if we go down to the kitchen, again, she's not leaking. Even though on the boat this is not a kitchen, this is a galley, but this is the sleeping quarters, as you guys know. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab a sign that we'll put up above the chests. Herring. Hmm. I don't care if I did I didn't spell that right, I don't care really. But that's what that is. Uh, and for those of you that aren't aware, Minecraft 360 edition just updated uh, the day before yesterday or yesterday or something. Uh, yeah, yesterday and the day before it was updating, so. But we got her mooring lines installed and she 
she is in the water, because the last time you guys saw her, she was in dry dock mode, so we didn't have much done with the boat, but now the boat is done. As far as I'm concerned with it, it's done. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, please comment, rate, and subscribe!